Hi, awesome admins. Have you ever added a field or a pick list value and then received loads of questions a few weeks later about that change? You probably sent out information via email or a chatter post to the end users about that change, but they didn't see it. They didn't need it at that moment. We've all been there. Our awesome update gets buried in their email and when they need it the most, they can't find it. As admins, We've all created job aids, quick sheets, videos, probably even hosted office hours for our end users to help them easily adopt the changes that we make to our org. We always have the best intentions in supporting our end users when it comes to change management and user adoption, but sometimes it falls short. Did you know though that there is a low code way to reach your end users with valuable information while they're in the flow of work? In-app guidance helps you meet your users in the moment when they need it most. Let's explore in-app guidance together, and I'll take you through creating your first in-app guidance step. Welcome to Sunshine Chocolates. Let's locate in-app guidance from setup. I recently enabled case merge for our service managers, and I want to use a prompt to help them adapt the new feature. We'll want to add an in-app guidance prompt by using the in-app guidance builder. When you select add, it takes you to the in-app guidance builder screen. My prompt should be on cases because that's where I created the new case merge option. And I'll want to select add and it opens up the panel on the right hand side where I can select either a single prompt or a walkthrough. We'll select single prompt, and we can either do a floating or a docked prompt. I'm selecting docked prompt because I wanna add a video. I'll complete the header, check out case merge, and the title, and then I'll pull the URL from the video I created and add that for the embedded link and you'll see how it will appear to the end user. And then I'll also add some additional information in the body of the prompt. From there, you'll select save, and it'll ask you for additional information. I don't need to use an action because I already have a video embedded, but I wanna schedule this. Over the next month, I want the service managers to be notified of this new change. And I think I'll want to show it to them maybe four times with several days in between the prompt. The nice thing is that I can either select no pro profile or a specific profile. For this, I want to you enable this for the service managers since they're the ones that have the ability to merge cases. I don't need to add any additional permissions and I need to name this prompt case merge. An added description so that anyone in the org that is looking at this in setup will understand what this prompt is for. And select save. Once you've created it, You'll select done, and then let's go back and refresh our in-app guidance screen and setup, and we'll now see the prompt that is live. We have the ability to preview it to determine if it meets our expectations. And look here, my in-app guidance for case merge is available. and select done. And you've just created your first prompt in in-app guidance. We've created our first in-app guidance together to support a change that I recently put through for Sunshine Chocolates. In-app guidance is valuable when used for changes that may not always be top of mind for your end users. In my example, I knew that the service managers would not be merging cases daily but I needed to reinforce the new feature that I had shared through a previous meeting and quick sheet. 
As you collaborate with your stakeholders and determine changes that need to be made to your org, consider in-app guidance to be part of your change management toolkit and use it when you need to meet your users with important information when they need it most while they're working in your org. <laughs>